Lucky bastard. Laying low key. Dude totally got out of town. Mom, I gotta come stay with you for the weekend. This guy's gonna totally kick my ass. That's exactly what's going on here. That and my complete lack of direction is keeping him totally alive. Yo, what's going on everybody? Riot's here playing Ark Survival Evolved and Unagi today back with some crazy stuff. Now immediately the things I suppose we should immediately take care of is we gotta bring that Notorex and it just dropped like 20 subscriber names down below on all these terror birds so everyone's we get a bunch more subscriber names, but as I was gathering resources this morning, I was killed! I went downstairs to get coffee and came back dead. I thought I'd be fine. But, also, just real quick, now that I've died, for those of you who've been with the series a long time, you know that when I die, our character comes back with some sort of speedster inhuman abilities. When we die, we come back with super strength and everything. Our stats just boost like crazy. It's freaking nuts. The hell is that thing? So yeah, we're gonna be very fast for today's episode, but I saw some crazy stuff down the beach that now I have to go tame. I was just hit up Shadlos, the uh, mod dev, because I knew he was working on something like this. So I knew the mod had to belong to him. And it is. Apparently, the creature, which is over there, which is absolutely nuts, you gotta sneak up on it all sneaky-like. You gotta stay right behind its back legs and passive tame it some uh, prime meat, which is what we're gonna go do really quick before the creature disappears or anything. And then we have many things to get going. Thank you so much, everybody, for commenting random things in the last video. You guys made it so much easier to s select subscriber names and, um, and, you know, name stuff after you. Okay, where has good stuff? I want to go somewhere with prime meat, but nowhere in the vicinity of that over there, because I don't want to. The creature, apparently, is super freaking skittish. I suppose I'm just going to be blind for the next 30 seconds. But yeah, just so you guys know, if you mess this up at all, apparently, the dude just booked it. He's just gone. Taming chance over. Finito Mussolini. Kind of weird how hard it is to get prime meat around here. Actually, no, it's not. There's creatures right in front of me. Oh, it's painfully- No, the baby's mine! Yeah! All right, I hate to get kind of vicious right there fighting over a baby with a T-Rex But that's the life we're living right now. That was actually brutal as hell that that just happened We have so many cadavers on so many cadaver stuff It happened because it happened by the way who else saw the Jurassic World uh, the side of the Jurassic World 2 second trailer last night during the Super Bowl I actually saw it on gaming beavers channel first because I was not watching the Super Bowl I was streaming Fortnite that stuff looks crazy though, man. I feel like we could freely talk about the commercial, like we don't have to worry about spoilers or anything in the commercial. Basically, that Indoraptor just looks so freaking nuts, it's way more crazy than we thought it would look. I feel like the Indoraptor in the Jurassic Park mod has to be redone now, because now it turns out the Indoraptor is actually some horrifyingly intelligent creature. Oh my god, I think it's spooky as hell. It's moving like a straight up. It's just, it's like I, I keep picturing that claw reaching out over that little girl's bed. Holy crap. Who's gonna go see Jurassic World the day it comes out, man? I'm gonna see it twice the day it comes out. Urgh, it's gonna, you know what? I'll, I'll see it first thing in the morning, come back, record a video, then go see the movie again. That's exactly what I'm gonna do. Yeah! Oh, by the way, we named the female Dota Rex the Queen because she knows the way. I know the meme's dead. The meme is dead as hell, but. You know, sometimes it's nice to reflect on dead memes. We'll look back one day and go, Oh, remember that meme? That meme was a thing. Holding out on me, you bastard. Now, I know a lot of people also wanted Dota Rex. I <laughs> wanted Rexes named after them and not random terror birds and such. But you see, we, we have a larger sub uh, collection of creatures. Ooh, by the way, I just heard today about this treacherous... Oh, we're so freaking fast. This treacherous glitch in the Anunnaki mod, which basically led to... I guess the first Pooping Evolve series that was on Anunnaki crashing and burning is if a warden fights something that is not Anunnaki, then the game will crash and explode. So you guys really have to remind me when we go fight a warden, we can only bring Anunnaki creatures. If we bring anything else... Dude, there it is! Look, it's a giant freaking chest burster! Oh, it's terrifying! Alright, so you gotta creep up right behind its butt. Ah! Oh, we spooked it. There it goes. Damn, that thing is skittish. Are you serious? We barely even went up behind it. That thing is so freaking skittish. It's ridiculous. Apparently, it's a pretty good swimmer, too. I guess we'll just hang out for a second. I li literally, come on, I look like a bush. How did you see me? Perhaps if I just stay low key. Oh, by the way, make sure to smack that like button if you guys are enjoying Anunnaki and the weird, wacky doodles of the whole Sheboygan. Where the hell is Mr. Freeze? I'll bet you anything Mr. Freeze chilling up there in the stratosphere. Apparently this thing's a pretty good swimmer, so it doesn't have that big of a risk of just dying immediately in the water. 
Although we all know what's in the water around here. Everything has a big risk of dying immediately. There it is, just swimming over there. What are you doing, dude? It's if you go over there. Then you're gonna die. This nice little shallow bit's chilling all. Oh god, it's so gonna die. Don't go over there. Yeah, look at that death zone right there. I'm not even gonna look at it, because then it'll bring... Ooh, what's going on, buddy? Howdy doodles. I'll barely approach from behind. Wow, this thing is magnificent. But it's also a huge bastard. Go ahead and get scared back onto land. It looks horrifying when in the water. Absolutely. Oh my god, you almost scared the crap out of me. <laughs> that flower looks a lot scarier when you're up close to it. It's just hard to only approach its ass when it's constantly flipping 360s. I'm thinking, I know this probably won't work, but should I, um... I kind of want to trick it, then build a thing around it, but honestly, it'll take decades to wake up. Everything takes so long to wake up. Uh, I'm gonna be over there. All right, he's he's chilling. Approach from the rear, Johnny. I can't crouch right here in the water. Okay, I'm crouching right here. All right, it's chill. It's all good in the hood. What the hell, man? Give me my passive tape. Oh, What's spooked? What's happening? I'm right behind the beast. I feel like I have. Oh, come on. Are you sure it's prime meat? I wonder if it's prime meat. Because that should have done the... It should have given the option though, right? Because it would have said like... Put the right food in the inventory slot, you nubbin. How'd you already get all the way over there, you s snark? Good one, Johnny. Alright, it's all good in the hood. It's still probably freaking out as the thing, so it can't be... Tame just yet. It's still crap in its pants. Although it seems to be generally kind of docile right now. I guess it's always docile, but it's not running, it's not freaking out. It's just dragging its giant ass tail all over the place. It's gotta still be freaking out. It's just very chill. Yeah, look at those, I, I keep thinking of those glitchy ass leg movements for those just because it keeps getting stuck on stuff. Oh, now it's freaking out. See, that's when it goes crazy when it lets off that little noise. I'm about to just shrink this bastard. I mean, there's bound to be a bunch more of them around here. This one's like right here. Look at him. He's like a freaking wild animal. All right, calm down, buddy. I know I'm right in your face, and that's never going to make you calm down. Ah! Oh, no, 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 you don't. No, you doesn't. I protect him everywhere he goes. I've also inflicted torpor onto him and definitely have Sam squanch this thing up a little bit. I don't want to calm down. He looks so freaking cool, though. He's apparently one of the hardest things to tame ever, though. He's freaking out. Stop freaking out, you bastard. Should I catch him in a bear trap? He won't be peaceful if I bear trap him, though. Hey, yeah, head him off. Head him off out on the open road, Johnny. Don't you break on me, game. He's all the way over there. Holy crap, he moves fast. They're so freaking fast. They're, like, as fast as the little ones, but if they were even bigger, so they're much faster and everything. It's, it's, it's just crazy fast. It's like the Queen Xeno. Compared to a regular Xeno. Like, Xenos are fast as hell and everything, but that queen, I feel like, could run up like 50 miles an hour. You know, while I have super speed, I'm gonna go run around the vicinity a tiny little bit. This isn't freaking... It is raw prime meats. That's weird. Okay, I thought I had cadaver flesh or whatever in my inventory. There's another one right there. Holy crap. They're all over this place. Perfected schlag. That one's just kind of chilling there, too. I don't know what's attacking what around here, but leave me out of it. Oh my god. Coming up behind the beast. Easy, Johnny. Secret agent man. Alright, we're completely flat on the ground to avoid all detection. Oh snap, son! We did it no freaking way! Oh my god! I'm amazing! Oh my god, I just can't just can't stop touching myself. I'm so great. Holy crap. Where are you going, Stanky? Hey on, you're actually not the strongest one. I need to get a much stronger one. Cause you, buddy, are kind of weak. Look at that turn radius! Holy crap, that is bananas right there. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, man, let's get you right back to the front of the base We should probably go try and find a stronger one to be honest. This one's only like a little 30 float four. Yeah, it's, it's got It's a bit of a weak weak weenie a tatzel worm. What's going on tatzel worm? All right, bud. let's go ahead and put perhaps a little bit into your weights. We should take the Dota Rex out and go find us some um Oh my god, this thing is crazy What? 
I am amazed and astounded. I think it's mostly used for a mode of transportation. It's mostly supposed to be like your land speeder creature, which I'm all for. God, it's got actually like amazing handling. Oh, and it has the most rapid attack ever. <laughs> it's, it's like actually a really fun beast. Sometimes I get modded creatures in here that look really cool and are kind of cool. And I'm like, yeah, this is awesome. I'm probably not going to use it that much because this creature's a bit of a goofball, but this is awesome. But in this situation, this is something. This is going to be my land speeder, especially if we tame a max level one of these. I just want to make sure this guy's got some movement speed boosts. Plus, like, with this incredulous attack speed, you could just gnaw down all these dodos, man. There, but nothing dodos. Make sure you're strong as hell. And he's green and black. He's just perfect in so many ways. I suppose we should put... I'm putting him towards melee. I just realized I can't put him towards movement speed. I suppose that's probably for the best. As he is a bit of a big fella. I mean, you don't want him to be, like, too land speeder fast. You want it to be in the realm of reality. Some mod developers really like to avoid, like, things where it looks goofy. Like, I'll ha you'll have some creatures with, like, 600% movement speed that just look like they're having a seizure every time they move. This thing is awesome! I want to go take it around and go look for another one, but honestly, all it takes is one silver dodo, one something like that, and the whole situation just goes kaputs. So make sure to drop name suggestions for this lovely little devil right here. Actually, hang on. Well, I'm gonna go look for another right now. I'm gonna go try and find a very- I swear we gotta find more freaking bosses, dude. I had a whole quest for today that actually involves something boss related, but then I saw this little fart. I was like, there's no freaking way that's not what I'm doing right now. Like, are you serious? Look at this thing. I already tamed one and I'm, I'm still equally as excited to tame another. Now that I know what they're like, I can't wait to have a, a beefcake. Ooh. And they're all over our biome? This is just so convenient. Oh! That was scary, dude. Holy- Hey, Snake, what's going on, buddy? I see the lasers haven't been doing their job. Jesus Christ! You let enough creatures in the vicinity around here? Oh, this is the perfect area for our worm buddy to just do his thing. Oh, God, raptors! Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. This is why we need turrets. Doing security work. That raptor will vaporize us. Hang on! I suppose I should put some walls up here. I didn't realize the turrets weren't killing things when I wasn't here. This changes everything. Well, at least they have large damage radius on. Like, they're gonna be shooting everything. At least Snake down there was protected. But I feel like this thing will die if I leave it here pinned up until we build some... I didn't think I would need to build a base, though. Honestly, I didn't think raptors even spawned up here. That's actually troublesome. I know I knew Dillos there, Dilos. I did not know Raptors did. This Raptors right there, hang on. We're running back there. Well, I suppose we're pretty fast, but you know what? So are Raptors. Hang on. Getting stuck on the floor. All right, I guess we need some more security precautions going on here. We still have hostile entities in the vicinity. Man, you think you know a place. I suppose realistically what we need is just like five times more turrets. Okay, well, one thing we gotta do no matter what, because it is getting kind of crowded here and I don't want to keep breeding armies here. It is safe for the Dodorexes to go over to the other place. I want to keep, I want to leave these guys breeding. I think a Dodorex baby is like one of the most important things we could be doing right now. And just because there's epic new stuff, I don't want to get completely distracted. We gotta do something slightly productive also. <laughs> this. I don't want to say I neglectfully forgot to make a saddle for you, bud. I want to say I lazily forgot to make a saddle for you. I think lazily works a lot better than neglectful. Yeah. Because lazily implies that I do care and I'm just bad at it. Neglectful implies that I just don't care and I'm a bastard. I could be a lazy dad, but a neglectful one? Eh, I don't know. And a kid becomes a stripper? Eh, it's all your fault for some reason. <laughs> I mean, obviously I'll always be there for my kid, but that'd be hilarious if they put, You were never there for me, dad, so I became a stripper. I never knew my dad either, and I kept my clothes on. That is my exact argument I shall do. Is there not a hitch around here? I was going to say, I better at least have a hitch in my inventory. What am I, a savage? What am I, an animal? Oh my god. Uh, for some, even hearing the word animal makes me so excited for Jurassic World. That trailer was so freaking bananas. I absolutely knew that that's how the Indoraptor was going to be brought in, but to be honest, was there any other way it could even be brought in? I was like, clearly the, uh, like, uh, 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 InGen, you know, at the very end of the movie when they take all the embryos and everything, they were going to 
Creates, they, they were trying to make something military. They saw the Indom as intelligent, smart. Raptors are controllable. We should. It was obvious they were going to be like, yeah, we should combine them, use that for soldier stuff. And then, clearly, I'm, I'm not really describing it very well because um, it's still pretty early for me. But it's, <laughs> we just knew that was how the Indoraptor was going to come to be. And now, now it's eating little girls. I swear to God. Because they have blue fight, the blue dives with the Indoraptor in the Super Bowl commercial too. And I, I, just, I just don't know a situation where blue... I, I, I swear to God, if that's Blue Diet right there, it'd be so sad. Just let me appreciate an epic movie. Don't let me be like, that movie was amazing. But it was that one scene was so sad. Let's not do that one scene was so sad stuff, man. Oh yeah, Dodo Johansson. That was a funny name suggestion. <laughs> Alright, Cappy Ted. Hey, it's perfect. I didn't even think about that since Cap... Or since, I guess, uh, Scott Johansson's Captain's first, like, kiss in like a hundred years or whatever. Or his first kiss ever. No, wait. Did he kiss that one chick in Captain America the First Avenger? Or was he gunning when he landed the plane and then he never got around to it? Cause I don't think he got kissed much when he was the other guy. I don't know, he could've. I don't know his backstory. I don't know what he's doing. God, these two really like, God, what, what other kind of stupid stuff's gonna come out of my mouth by the time they're done breeding? Jesus. You don't even have a million health yet, woman. Are you absolutely crazy? What the hell was I thinking right there? Okay, where was that badass raptor defeated? I'm gonna need a little more evidence than that. Uh, apparently, that's one of the main things you have to worry about, too, with, like, wardens and everything, is, um... That's how your game will crash and take a big dookie and everything will fail out. You won't even know what's going on. Just on the other side of the map, some creature accidentally, like, used some move in the radius of a warden, which caused the warden to attack it, and the creature non anunnaki Basically, the game just crashes and implodes in on itself because a uh, warden can't fight things that aren't from Anunnaki. I knew it wouldn't hit and I went for it anyways. These things still have a lot of ammo as well. That is pretty sweet. Because these things are probably going to need to be fine. Dude, those ones in my base still have ammo. That's that's absolutely insane. The ones in my base still have ammo. I haven't, I haven't reloaded those once. Oh, snap. All right. Oh, they're married too. No, just give me the egg, you fool. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. There we go. All right, sweet. We got our fertilized Dodorexes. Honestly, I forgot they have eggs. It's been so long since I bred Dodorexes. How long till you can do that again, Dodo Johansson? Dude, 21 hours. We can spit another baby out tomorrow, son. I'm going to take you off one of those. Sweet, we got our child. All right, you two hang out. I'll probably be back for you, Captain, because you're our main soldier, and I'm going to need you for battle and such. We have a child. We have an army growing. Oh my god. Yeah, for those of you who keep missing the parts of my videos where I say, even though you all have creatures named after you, there's a chance they're all gonna die in the big epic battle to come. Oh, by the way, we named this thing Delta. Not really sure how I feel about the name Delta, but I gotta be honest, having a rock drake in this is the coolest freaking thing ever. Hang on, I'll go run a baby in there. I feel like this was the fair way to do it. Like, this creature is literally only for transportation. Doesn't even have a hundred damage. That's absolutely bananas. All it's literally for doing is whenever I kind of just want to mess around a little, I come to these mountains and just do this. This is what this creature's for. Some of you guys are saying, actually no one said it. Someone's just joking that at level like a hundred, I'll give myself a level million bulb dog or something. But look at this. Wasn't this a good investment right here? Oh my god. Hang on. We can see Shenron over there too. That's so funny. Oh, this is just simply magnificence at the Crystal Isles. I don't really trust taking it anywhere else though because it will die instantly. It's so freaking cool in the Crystal Isles though. It's like it was made to be. I'll bet you anything, once rock drakes do naturally spawn on this map, they'll have crazy crystals on them and everything. Just like how the actual wyverns that spawn here have crazy crystals compared to other wyverns. Hey, I gotta know if we can make it all the way over here. This map's a lot bigger than freaking. Hang on, I just got instantly so interested in something. We could die, but it'd be—it's just gonna be the best glide of my freaking life right now. <laughs> oh my god! I hope to God we survive this glide, but if we don't, it was an epic ride. I think our base is just about that way. I don't even know, man. It could be far away anywhere. Let's just go for it. Is there a monkey around me right now? There is a monkey up here. Ah, oh, shame that monkey's gonna have to die. Yeah! Look at that glide. Oh my god, I've never glided up from this high before. 
This is amazing! <laughs> this, this is exactly why I said we needed to be gifted one of these at like episode 40. Wow! I think I feel like we've already almost gone Aberration's entire length. This is like a spiritual experience. Yeah, look, we got our arms all sprawled out like Jeebus himself. I wonder how far we could make it across the map right now. Now we've expanded past full-on aberration. What if we make it to the beach? That would be insane. There's no absolute way in hell we're going to make it to the beach. Uh-oh. Oh, I thought the game broke. This would be a bad place for the server, server to crash. Regathering everything would be a real pain in the ass. Dude, we could have gl uh, glided from up there right onto our little second base over there. <laughs> that would have been crazy. We're just gonna ride this bad way out to the very end and you see how far I can go. My god, this, this is the best idea I've had in a while right here. Except next episode. Next episode is a pretty damn cool idea. It was supposed to be this episode, but then as soon as I loaded into the world, I saw giant larva everywhere and I was like, holy crap, what the hell has happened to the world? Things must be done about this. Dude, it's a dragon! Holy crap! You know how hard you bastards are to find? Oh, oh god! <laughs> I forgot we were on a total one shot. Um, so what the hell, man? How do I even come back from that, dude? There goes our little champagne bottle rock drink. Well, it was, I didn't even get to land from there. At least we got to final glide it. I don't even know how to come back from that. We found a dragon. We got to kill him. We need him. I just hurt my hand. I feel like, um, um, I don't know how we're going to do this right now. We just kind of total curveball. I don't even have time to mourn the little bastard. I am so sorry. I honestly, I didn't realize the dragon was going to go so aggro on us so quickly. I thought we'd have a second of chill time first. Clearly that wasn't a thing. I thought literally we'd be able to land by him. My goal was to land by him and then teleport out of there and then go back with um and then go back with or, you know go get a Dota Rex and come teleport back to my last remote location and then go back and just vaporize really quick and get a dragon helmet. Oh my god. My ghillie suit, you son of a bitch. I don't have any gloves. All right, we're gonna find this guy. We're gonna kick his friggin' ass. All right, that was, can't believe that just happened. All right, this little base. Honestly, Johnny, wooden spikes. Teleporting to wooden spikes. You're all over the place with technology on this one. I gotta be honest with you guys though. I really like wood in this more than anything else. I know, ha ha, obvious boner joke. No, but seriously, like the wood in this is, um, I don't know, it makes me feel a lot more realistically in the stuff. That's probably what I'd be making my base out of, to be honest, is wood. Believe it or not, it would probably take me and my tribe several hundred years to advance to all that. How do you even make metal? What do I go dig up in the ground that makes metal? Dude, look at all these guys having a giant laser fight. Oh, this is absolutely crazy. Rawr! Sorry, I'm in, a, I'm in a kill mood right now because um, government took my baby. Forgot how good these things swim. Take you in the water more often, buddy. What the hell? Oh, Jurassic Park one? These, these things are bastards. Those are the ones that pick you up and drop you in places. Oh, I'm gonna find you down this beach. Oh my god, you have a royal ass beating coming your way, buddy. The hell is that? Oh, it's one of those Miflorgan thingies. I thought that was a winged person. There's an Argentavis next to a person. Confusing. Man, is the dragon more down the beach or down this way? Come on, loaded all the creatures. I was just here a second ago. I remember because I died. You got like 30 ass kickings coming your way right now, man. You better just get the hell out of it. There's a giant bulldog right there with a snake going after it. No. Is there any way to just kill the snake? Good job, Johnny. Good job, bud. What the, 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 the hell? Was the dragon just more down this way or did I completely pass him? Lucky bastard. Laying low key. Dude totally got out of town. 
Mom, I gotta come stay with you for the weekend. This guy's gonna totally kick my ass. That's exactly what's going on here. That and my complete lack of direction is keeping him totally alive. Oh my god. Was it even a dragon? Was it one of these guys and I was just tripping? It had to have been a dragon, right? I'm not just tripping. My eyes might not be working to my full extent of the law. That could be what's going on here. Was it just one of these imposter dragons? They're not imposter dragons, just different species of dra Drillion. Nope, there he is, right there next to the green beacon, Johnny. It's almost as if you could have seen it from a mile away easily. I'm gonna kick several shades of shit right out of your face. I hope you're ready. Oh, perfect, for my little buddy. My little buddy back home. I'm just gonna fire breathe on your face. You've taken everything from me. Yeah, 81k damage versus 2 damage, or 2k. Eh, it's not even worth specifying the K part. And he's dead. Dead bitch walking. You broke my gloves? You took my loved one? I don't know what's worse. Okay, I hear fire breath, so I'm gonna bounce right on out of here really quickly. Fire breath, it's one of those dragons. Damn, my gloves, man. I don't want to have to craft new gloves. Don't you know I'm the laziest bastard on the planet? At least we got another dragon thing. We can go tame another Dodo Rex. It could be a high-level male or a high-level female. It doesn't even matter. But the army's growing. Now we can tame another one. And we could, and we have a baby in my inventory that I keep forgetting about for some reason. That I hope's still there, actually. Oh, my God. Where are you at? Look at that big spanking gorgeous poop bucket. We are gonna have so many Dodo Rexes. It's not even gonna be funny. All right, I think it's time. I was gonna do it off camera, to be honest, but then I streamed for like four hours. There's so much stuff I balance. It's crazy. But um, this is pretty crowded here. I guess it's, as long as I like, at new creatures keep getting moved over, and then every time I move, a new, every like day or two, I move a few creatures over. I guess we could just like, I wish I just do that instead of moving all, all creatures over. I should just. But I love this location. Is the thing. I'm not ready to move yet to the map changes. Cause I can just expand the fence like a couple miles and then just have all our creatures. That's what I gotta do. I gotta have them all in one place. Perhaps I should just build way over there more. I should, I'm just gonna turn this whole area into like a giant construct. Yep, that's what we gotta do. See, those freaking golden dodo treats expire so fast. Also, thank you guys so much for the tips on how to tame Rudolph. That's actually how we do it. We have another dragon on that we can literally make another tribute once we have our golden dodo treats. That is freaking hilarious. Yes, yeah, since I God, my movement speed is so busted out, it's nuts. Yes, we need more golden dodos. All right, well, I just made me a pair of shoes. I'm going to go see if there's any crazy giant larva in the vicinity. Excuse me, everybody. Hang on. Uh, dude, should I hatch this egg right now? What kind of question is that, Johnny? Obviously, you should hatch this egg right now. We don't have an S plus hatchery crafted. Why don't you have an S plus hatchery crafted? What's the matter with you? Is it laziness, Johnny? Nah, it's just distraction. There's too much other crazy stuff going on. Look at that incubation time! God damn! Alright, so... I feel like what's gonna happen is I'm gonna leave it on the floor. And then, yeah, we need an S plus hatchery. 100%. 100%. That is... That, that dude is gonna die. That's okay. We already got... How do I craft you again? I just need a bunch of eggs is the thing. I don't have a bunch of eggs on me. Yeah, I just don't have 20 dino eggs on me. You gotta get them from the, uh... From the Confucianus Nest. It's the easiest way by far. But you kind of need climbing picks to get into the Confucianus Nest. All right, so that's what I'm going to do after this, probably off camera. Just go build an S-plus hatchery. There's super, you just get to one nest, and then, like, there's, like, 30 eggs in each nest. And what it basically does is it just hatches. Well, you've all seen it in many videos. Every YouTuber uses it. But it just, for those of you who don't know, it just gets the egg down to, like, 0.1% in the nest, and then it just chills like that. And then when you're ready to hatch the creature, you just take it out, and you put it on the floor. Out comes baby. I should be invisible to those guys. I don't think I'm invisible right now. I feel like I should be. But I'm definitely being chased by creatures. Man, when I die in this series, I'm basically respawned as a speedster. Which is pretty freaking cool, but oh, what's going on, buddy? But of course, the downside of being a speedster is that means another speedster is going to come interrupt your life just about every other day. Which does take some down, uh, down, downtrodden, downfall. I gotta get these golden dodo treats. They're the meaning of life right now. If I get the, the boss tribute, we're gonna wish we got them next time we see a crazy ass, um, 
What you call him? That's right. I left all my Dota Rexes over there. Hey, Deadpool, you're still you're still pretty great. Nope, nope. Unhitch, unhitch. What are you doing, bud? What the hell is going on here? How did I leave you like this in the first place? Okay, see, that's the issue, Johnny, is leaving your freaking flyers right on the runway. That's when things start to get complicated with space and such. Oh, look at all my subscribers, Johnny. I forgot to go over all their names and everything. I just kind of assumed it would it would naturally happen throughout the series. I kind of just had to rush to a bunch of stuff because a lot of stuff's been happening. There was a lot of stuff going on off camera when I was, like, gathering stuff this morning and prepping for today's video. So I just kind of had to rush today's video. How long have you had a Midas touch in your inventory and not told me? Also, I now realize that I left my other, other experience potion. But whatever. All right, finish this guy off for me, would you? But don't kill him. Just get him right down to almost dead. I swear to God, if you eat him, don't you eat him. Don't you do it, you bastard. I need his innards. Goody. All right, sweet. And how long do you last in my buddy's inventory over here? One hour and okay, that should lie. I want to scope the area real quick to see if we see any more larvae. I actually haven't seen any. I've only seen them literally over by our base. I think they spawn like by the water. But this whole area counts as like by the water. This whole area is by the water. I honestly don't know what's faster, running on a foot or running on my Alpha Rex. This thing is fast as hell. Took us a long time to get. Definitely wasn't easy to acquire. Wasn't even easy to find. Didn't find it until like five, six episodes ago, didn't I? But now that we've got it. Hey, look, remember we tamed a badass raptor in this? Oh, God. Throwback. Oh, man. It wasn't even until like 15 episodes ago I feel like we have been able to take down many creatures. Oh, what the hell is going on, bud? Although I probably shouldn't kill you because there's no point to it. Because your... Your treats are going to expire. Before I'm able to use them again for anything. I'm still very sad about a rock drake, to be honest. That was kind of messed up. Oh, by the way, I wanted to say, um, for anybody watching this who has experience with graphic designing and such, I'm looking for someone to... To basically pay to draw fancy sniz. If you guys are interested in that sort of thing or know anyone who messes around with graphic designing, that would be awesome. It's basically just, um... You have to be, you're gonna have to be able to draw for shizzle. Draw and then like edit the photo for, for snorps. Not like make cool logos or stuff like that. We need, we need art, 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 art drawer. Someone who could draw way better than I could speak. I pay pretty well and if I ever rip you off, you could just always slam me on scarce or scarce. However the hell you say those dudes names. What's the other guy? Drama alert, that dude. You always slam people over there. That's the cool thing about doing business with YouTubers is if they ever mess up, you just take down their career. <laughs> Dude, I can't find any larva anywhere right now. It's malarkey. There is a larva drought going on in this vicinity. I can't even find the original one we were looking for. Like the original one that, the, the one that got away. This episode is supposed to have a huge aquatic presence, but that ended up not happening because of the larva. But that'll happen next episode. Oh, hell yeah, it will. All right, so I gotta go make a hatchery. You gotta hatch this baby. We gotta go tame another Dota Rex. We're finally going to be able to start killing wardens, which is going to be awesome, because we re remember celestial creatures? How cool are celestial creatures? We got to get more celestial creatures back in our lives, I feel like. As long as we make sure not to have any creature that isn't Anunnaki fights a warden. I swear to God, if a warden even kills Morty over here, because I forget he's on my shoulder, the world's going to crash, and we're going to have to roll it back like a week just to be able to play on it. That's a thing. So, yes. Let's oh, so check it out. We got Cole Crusher. Here's Jimmy, Omari Crawford, Justin Samwaru, Cowboy, David Bolesky, Thunderwing, KLB Gaming, Random Games. I feel like I chose an abrupt amount of male names and not half and half. Butterham and what was this one? I think this guy was named last episode. Merc. Merc. All right, people. I'm going to go ahead and wrap this episode up here. But I appreciate you guys dropping those names down below a bunch. I understand it's just terror birds, but it's just nice just to have, you know, just to have you guys be everywhere. Where the hell is the more of you? Okay, we'll keep it together. If you guys had a good time watching, leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you beautiful people next time. Peace. It's time to get swifty and